Hello, I'm Callie Lichter. CVS Pharmacy on College Mall Road is closing permanently on May 8th. The lead director of external communications for CVS said in an email that all prescriptions will be transferred to the nearby store at East 3rd Street. The location is closing due to, quote, local market dynamics, population shifts, and a community store density, end quote. There will be seven remaining locations in Bloomington. Indiana University now says the person arrested during a pro-Palestinian demonstration on campus Monday is an IU alumnus. It's in a way my duty to the other students to pursue civil action to the degree that is possible. Thomas Sweeney was charged Tuesday with dis misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Authorities say he disrupted scheduled Eclipse events. IUPD initially said Sweeney is not affiliated with the university, but later clarified he is a recent graduate and is not currently associated with IU as a student or employee. The second phase of Governor Eric Holcomb's Ready program is set to generate $11 billion in investment across the state. But I think we very methodically arrived at what was not just fair, but that was effective in spurring local economic um, growth. The latest round of state funding for the Regional Economic Development Initiative was awarded Thursday to 15 regions covering the entire state. The money is used for capital and infrastructure projects and will be dispersed over the next several years. Let's take a look at the weather. Tonight we're going to see a 40% chance of showers with a low of 45 degrees and looking ahead towards our five-day forecast, we're going to see a sunny weekend with temperatures reaching the low 80s by Monday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.